It's Christmas Day, and I got this as a present, so let's go ahead and open it up. But first, we're going to actually look at it. The world's smallest walkie-talkies has a push-to-talk, Morse code keying, flexible antennas, quote-unquote, and it works through walls, floors, steel, and concrete. Now, something I find interesting is all these radios always like to say they work for miles and miles. This one says it works up to 100 feet, and the other ones usually lie, so... What is this one even going to be able to do? And I couldn't figure out the frequency range on here until I went to the FCC identifier. And then I actually looked it up. These operate on 49.86 megahertz. They take eight watch batteries and that's all there is to it. So let's go ahead and open these things up. And I opened them up and they were kidding. These things are incredibly small. And the first thing I realize is for 49 megahertz... I don't think this antenna is going to work very well. So first thing I notice is it has very clicky PTT, which is a good thing. It has an on and off switch, and it has a code key for CW or Morse code. Let's pull these batteries out and give it a distance test. Before we actually take it out and do a distance check on it, let's get a sound quality check. Here's going to be somebody else talking through it, giving me a five count. And as you notice, it is very, very quiet. And here's going to be him also pushing in the code key. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's extremely quiet. So for the distance check, we're going to go ahead and do about 10 feet away. Well, I don't know if you could hear it, but 10 feet worked just fine. So here we are about 50 feet away. So we'll go ahead and try it. Well, about 50 feet away, it still works. We'll see if he can yell through it again here we are about a hundred feet away and we're gonna see if it actually hits and even though I heard him the first time all of a sudden it just isn't picking it up anymore so I think I had to get a little bit closer I think I believe it when it said it only goes 100 feet. And now that I'm getting a little bit closer, we're still not hearing each other. So it seems to be uh, wildly ineffective. Well, here we are 30 feet away. We'll try this again. Can you hear me now? Well, there you go. That was the five count. You probably hear the wind better than you do, do this. All in all, I don't think I recommend this as a survival radio. For one... It's not going very far, and two, I don't think anybody's out there listening to 49 megahertz. Well, here I am probably about a good 300 feet away, and now we're getting some voice modulation again. Seems very random when it really wants to transmit well. Using the voice transmission, it only about goes to about 300, 350 feet, but with the Morse code idea, it goes about five or 600. Well, there it is, 500 feet, and I'm actually able to hear the morse code identifier once again i don't foresee this saving your life if you're looking for a survival radio maybe the world's smallest walkie-talkie is not the move